Now on Skype you have your main name or username, but you also have something called your Skype ID. That is something that other users can find you by and something you can also share that identifies your account specifically, which is generated when you first create your Skype account. However, it's not instantly obvious how exactly you can find it, so let's go over it, shall we? Starting off on the desktop app, first off, click on your Skype icon in the top left, and then under the Manage section, in a menu that pops up, click on Skype Profile. From there, a list of the basic info about your profile will pop up, including your Skype ID. You can even conveniently click on it and copy it directly to your clipboard. Now let's do the same, but on mobile, and it's pretty much the same whether you're using Android or iOS. Once you are in Skype, once you can click on your profile icon in the top left, and then from there, you wanna go onto Skype profile, just like we just shown you on desktop. And once again, your Skype name will be one of the top options. And just like before, you can tap on that, and then go copy, and it's gonna instantly save to your clipboard, so you can easily share that with others you wanna add as contacts on Skype, or whatever else you may need your Skype ID or Skype name. Now one thing you may have noticed is that in neither of those you had the option to actually edit your Skype ID and that is because once it's set, it is set and there's no way of changing it after you've created your Skype profile. Pretty much the only way of getting a different Skype name after that will be to just create a whole new Skype profile which could of course be a bit of a pain but most of the time there's really no need to change or alter what your Skype ID is and it's usually just based on whatever your main name on Skype on your Microsoft account or whatever else you use to create your Skype account with is. But that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to check your Skype ID and copy it over. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to How To Authority for more like this in the future.